right. Today's just like any other day, really. <laughs> Except I'll be making history. Honestly, I never thought I'd see the day. It seemed like a, a crazy pipe dream or something when he first brought it up, but here we are, <laughs> against all odds. And by all odds, I mean specifically uh, his genetic physical limitations, his constant influence for caloric deficits, and his over-reliance on lightweight, high rep cable flies. Today's the day I bench press 225. I remember being a kid and my dad making me watch the NFL Combine where all those collegiate players trying to impress the coaches by running the 40 or doing lateral drills, jumping as high as they can, like all that gay shit. But then finally, benching 225 pounds as many times as they can, like some real, real man shit. Big boy shit, if you ask me. According to my dad, that was my first sentence. How much weight's on the bar? I'll never forget the look he gave me. 225 pounds, son. I asked, is that a lot of weight? He looked me right in my eye sockets and said, son, those big boys might be making it look easy, but trust me, 99% of grown men on God's green earth will never, ever bench press 225 in their life. Ever since then, I made it my mission, my goal, to bench press 225 pounds once. It's gonna happen today. Unfortunately, Isaiah has a pretty healthy habit of getting, how should I say, distracted from his ultimate goal of hitting a one rep max at 225. You know, but all that obsession with being sub 5% body fat year round for no reason, I think is finally in the rear view because According to him, he's been eating in a caloric surplus for the past six and a half weeks. And I know, I was skeptical too. Didn't believe it until I went over to his house and he weighed himself right in front of me, naked. And I was like, damn, you gained three pounds and you got a pretty nice hog. Wait, he actually gave me hog props? That's awesome. Rumor has it he's packing an absolute bat, you know what I mean? <laughs> Big. It was actually Mark's idea to film everything. I was like, no, that's too much. Like, I'm doing this for me, right? Like, I don't really care if the world sees it with dramatic music playing in the background. But if we're gonna do it, I want to look as fly as possible. So that's what we're doing. Does this make me look small? Yeah, it does. Oh, let me change. Okay, here we go. This one better. He, said, he's, he really said it was my idea. I distinctly remember him saying, hey Mark, can you put together a film crew? I'm finally bench pressing 225. I want to document it. If you do, I'll give you an associate producer credit on IMDb. I look, I learned from me personally, it's about looking big just as much as about feeling big or actually even being big. I mean, I guess they're all related, right? But let's just say I go to the gym today, right? And I'm walking in and then I, I catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I'm like, holy f I'm smaller than I thought, right? Whole day's fucked, okay? I'm not benching 225 in the, the, whole, the whole day, the whole month, the year. And I might just go back to crash dieting for, for IG pics to look shredded. So that's why it's, that's why I have to look big. It's a simple answer when you think about it. It's actually pretty logical. So I don't know why anyone wouldn't have the same logic as me. Oh my God, he's always calling me at the worst time. I'm sorry guys. Yeah? Hey buddy, just checking in. Oh, well it's bad timing, I'm eating right now. Yeah, well um, the only reason I'm calling is we said 10 and it's almost 11, so I was wondering if you're still coming. Okay, well I'll get there when I get there. I'm eating right now, literally fueling up so I can actually hit the PR and not fail like you and everything in life, Jesus Christ. Get off my back. Okay, can I just chalk this up to you being hangry? Uh, look, when was the last time you hit a, hit a PR in anything? Huh, 10 years ago, you old fuck? Yeah, that's what I thought, fuck. I'm doing him a favor, I mean I like, I. Again, he set this all up. Was that nice? I'm sorry guys, this guy's just like, he doesn't understand self-awareness. I'm eating to fuel up and it's like, so fucking cringe. I'm sorry. I hit 225 33 times when I was a 19 year old sophomore in college. I've learned to keep a lot of things to myself. Anytime I get excited about my goals and I think I'll motivate someone by sharing it with the world. Which is honestly a really selfless thing for me to do. 
It's always some loser incel on the internet talking about, no way you'll bench 225, or you won't win the Olympia in 2026, or even if you were 260, you wouldn't beat me in a street fight. And so I just cut it all out. I just don't need that type of negativity in my life. So I have my assistant screenshot all the positive comments and send them to me. I don't need to read the negative ones. Yo, where the hell are you going, dummy? I just got here about to make history and you're gonna bounce? Well, you're 90 minutes late and I tried calling you three times and you didn't pick up. Yeah, so well, I guess what? Sometimes you gotta wait for greatness. <laughs> Get the f back inside. Unless you don't want that associate producer credit, IMDB. <sighs> That's what I thought. Today is the day. The moment is now. I can achieve anything I put my mind to. I will bench press 225 pounds. Finally going for it at 12 noon. Three, two, one. No touch the ball. Hey. Yes. I swear if you touch the ball, I'll slip you. 